Hi, in a previous video, I had discussed the Master of Engineering program and the top five colleges in the US that you should consider applying for. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about the M Engineering Management program uh, in Canada, uh, why it's such a good option and which are the universities that you should consider applying to if you're looking for a Master of Engineering Management course. My name is Anand Venkateshan. I'm the founder of MentorsCapital.com. We are a networking and mentorship platform uh, that caters to the study abroad needs of students. Uh, and we do this by connecting students with mentors across the globe. And hopefully discussions with these expert mentors will help you make better and more informed choices. All right, let's get started with our uh, agenda today, which is to talk about the engineering management program in Canada. Obviously. The MIMEM uh, or Master in Engineering Management course is typically suited for somebody with an engineering or a science background focused on computer science uh, and with math, physics, uh, or other sub subjects. Right? Um, the program integrates the technical knowledge that you gained in you know undergrad study uh, with additional systems engineering and uh, you know management uh, discipline. Uh, and, and hopefully helps you to become, you know, a leader, future leader in the field of uh, technology driven companies, right? So those, those are the kind of places that you should be targeting if you are considering an MEM program. Uh, well, the, the job roles that you get into after an MEM course are pretty eclectic. They span all the way from, you know, a consulting profile or an analytics profile in a tech firm, or it could also be a general management role that could oversee that you could oversee in a technology driven company and and obviously it also includes other such roles like uh, a product engineer a project manager or a systems engineer uh, in in some top company or at the other end of the spectrum is that you take your accumulated knowledge of engineering and technology and management and and you apply it in a startup firm that's trying to uh, build a product or a service of its own right so those are uh, the areas that you should be considering um, I did say I will discuss the top programs in Canada and I found three programs in Canada that I really like and, and these programs have been shortlisted by me on the basis of their rankings. Uh, I rely generally on the QS World University rankings, uh, but I also looked at the eligibility criteria and, and the program costs and other uh, minute details in, in coming up with this selection, right? So do watch on. The first university that I want to uh, talk about is the University of Toronto, one of the top universities uh, in Canada, right? It's situated obviously in the city of Toronto. Um, and, and Toronto as a district, as a, as a locality, is probably the most preferred locality for uh, any immigrant, right? So because most industry is sort of headquartered around in and around the state of, uh, you know, the district of, Can uh, of Toronto. Uh, well, since we're talking about the M Engineering program, you, uh, the University of Toronto offers the M Engineering program with plenty of tracks, right? Specialization tracks. These include uh, the software engineering track, uh, uh, the mechanical, civil, electrical, and computer science track, as also material science uh, and biomedicine, right? So plenty of tracks, plenty of areas where you can uh, you know, opts for specialization besides obviously learning the basics of management. Remember, a typical, uh, a, you know, Master of Engineering course will have a core uh, area of study, which will include statistics, economics, basics of management, and also some components of engineering. Uh, and then there will be electives that you choose basis, your perceived specialization, the one that you want to, you know, specialize in and seek, finally seek jobs. Uh, later on and and so you pick up electives in that area and uh, most of the courses that I looked at are, uh, are basically course based not thesis based which means that you're not looking to perform and conduct research or become an academic uh, you know person in that uh, area in that field but you're actually going to look for jobs so uh, an internship is probably uh, part of the course as opposed to a thesis right but some do have a thesis requirement because it is a master's program uh, the interesting thing is that the U University of Toronto, as 
uh, uh, other universities in Canada offer the Master of Engineering either as a full-time course or, you know, as part-time option. And they, in fact, the U Toronto also offers an extended option whereby, you know, do the first year of M Engineering and then the second year, which would be a specialization with uh, within the field of analytics, right? So, so that is an option that you have. So you could uh, actually finish it in two years with an extended mode. Uh, the eligibility is fairly straightforward. You need to have a four-year degree from a recognized accredited university. Uh, the GPA requirement is generally uh, a B positive uh, or more, a B, a mid B, uh, in at least the final two years of your engineering. So that's roughly about three on four or 75 percent. But I think if you really want your application to be competitive, then you need to have a slightly higher GPA than that. Uh, GRE is not really required, although it is optional. You should consider furnishing the GRE score because it can really boost your chances of getting selected. Uh, and finally, in terms of cost, the Master of Engineering is actually quite a good course because you can see that, uh, you know, with a cost of around 65, uh, 70,000 Canadian dollars, it basically works out to around 40 lakhs of tuition and maybe another 10 odd lakhs of living expenses. So, so overall about 50 lakhs to study a program in Canada and get you know, a work permit later on for another year um, means that, you know, it's a very, very good course. I will also take a minute here to talk about, you know, Canada as a market for, you know, the technical fields of study is actually quite booming because uh, technology is pretty big in Canada. And, and since it's a, uh, in terms of population, it's a growing country adding to its population. So most of the basic services that include power, energy, uh, you know, civil and construction services, are actually on the upswing. So there are plenty of opportunities there. Uh, and even though you're going to be competing with the locals for jobs, uh, it means that it will take you a little bit of time to find that first job. But chances are pretty, pretty bright if you're applying to Canada, right? Um, the second university that I would really recommend you apply to is the University of Waterloo, right? Now, U Waterloo is actually one of the top universities in Canada for engineering and undergraduate programs, as well as master's and postgraduate programs. And one big reason is that besides offering M engineering with a lot of tracks that include design, uh, systems design, electrical and computer science, um, as well as civil and mechanical tracks, civil and chemical tracks, the uh, M engineering program here also comes with a co-op option. Now, this is particularly a good option for those who do not come in with work experience to start the M engineering program because the co-op option allows you to get a paid internship, uh, you know, one full term of a paid co-op option, maybe even two. Um, and University of Waterloo offers that, which means that if you go for the co-op option, you study longer. And but uh, but during that extra field of uh, time of you know co-op, you actually get to work with a Canadian startup, and and showing that employment on your CV will really further your chances both of getting a final offer from the firm you interned with uh, and also other companies, other firms that will consider you because now you've actually worked in the Canadian uh, environment, Canadian, uh, you know, economy, added to the economy and uh, and probably exhibit at least the ability to mingle in with the locals, right? So, so that's one I thought which is a very attractive offer. Uh, the requirements are exactly the same as the University of Toronto, which is a you know, a, a four-year engineering degree, honors degree, and 75% score or more, and an optional GRE GMAT requirement, no work experience being mandatory, even at the University of Waterloo. So the fee for the uh, for the Master of Engineering program here is slightly lower, which is even better. It works out to around 35 to uh, 35 lakhs or so uh, for tuition, and, and obviously living expenses are in addition. The third university that I think you should consider applying to is the University of Victoria. Now, it's not really very top ranked in 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 the you know in, in terms of engineering rankings across the globe. It probably features from in the in the range of around seven hundred odd worldwide. But uh, but University of Victoria is one of the few uh, universities in Canada that offer a master of engineering course. So it could be uh, you know a backup option. Uh, 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 you know, if the first two do not work out, consider applying to University of Victoria. The Again, the M engineering program offers you specialization tracks that range from biomedicine. Remember, biomed is actually one of booming industries in Canada. They're, they're doing some stellar work in, in research and in terms of, you know, the kind of products that they come out with. So 
So biomedicine applied data science, also uh, a preferred course in, as far as Canada is concerned, uh, but also some of the core areas of electrical, computer science, mechanical and telecommunications, right? So, so information security is also big in, in Canada, right? The duration typically tends to be around one to two years of study and requirements are uh, exactly the same as uh, the other ones, right? Uh, but, and, and this makes it quite pretty attractive, the cost is drastically lower. It's almost half as expensive as any other university in Canada. Um, and, and so this probably means that this is a very, very good value for money offering. Uh, you, you pursue an M engineering program uh, and it only costs you around 20 odd lakhs. Uh, and, and so it's cheaper on your pocket. It still comes with, uh, you know, comes from a university that's recognized in Canada. It's one of the, maybe the top 10 universities in Canada. Uh, uh, especially for a technical field of study. So uh, I think prospects are bright if you study uh, from here. Well, I did give you a quick lowdown of Master of Engineering courses, Engineering Management in Canada. Quickly, I'll take a minute to also tell you about what we at Mentors Capital do. Just like the name suggests, we uh, believe in the power of mentorship. We believe that it can really uh, improve your outcomes both at the stage of application or prospecting colleges also at a later stage of finding jobs, right? Mentors essentially can uh, make all the difference. The right advice can really make all the difference. And, and all you need to do is visit our website and find a mentor that, you know, suits your background and your requirements. And, and uh, once, you, uh, once you do a booking with, book a slot with that mentor, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll try to make that slot work out for you. And hopefully you get questions to all the, you know, problems that you are facing. Right. Our services are pretty comprehensive. We, we start with test preparation, which means GRE, GMAT, SAT preparation, but also help students throughout the application process, whether it's writing essays, preparing SOPs uh, or LORs or even scholarship applications. Uh, and at an even earlier stage, we probably can also handhold you with, you know, choosing which program is right for you, which course of study, which university will actually uh, be the right one. Uh, basis your academic performance, your professional experience, and your test scores, right? So we, we do provide comprehensive services. Do write in to me at the email address shown, uh, or, or you can even drop us a WhatsApp text. Uh, do click on the link below uh, where I have uh, furnished a, a link that you can use to book yourself a free counseling session. Uh, you, can, you can discuss any problems you have, discuss your profile, or even take a free trial class for one of our GRE or GMAT courses, right? Thank you for listening. Uh, all the best with your applications uh, and, and do, do reach out if you have any further queries.